Hey guys, so I had a comment on one of my videos, uh, it was actually today, and uh, I was looking at it, and this guy is trying to, I guess, measure his height, and all he had was a metric tape measure, and I'm not sure if the dude is like from overseas, or if that's just all he had lying around the junk drawer, and uh, that's what he found, but a lot of dudes don't know how to measure with a metric tape measure, they don't know, they're not familiar with the metric system, which I get, you know, I mean, we're in the United States, or at least I'm in the United States, I don't know where all you guys are at, but anyway, I'm in the United States, and a lot of guys aren't familiar with the metric system, now, they are teaching it in schools now, I mean, I, was, I learned about it when I was a kid, and, you know, but a lot of the, uh, the old-time, you know, woodworker guys are not really, really familiar with it, and a lot of guys that I grew up with that never learned how to read a tape measure aren't exactly familiar with the metric system either, okay, so, going to teach you a little bit about it, okay, I'm, on, I'm not going to go into all the different types of metric measurements and all that stuff, because that's just way too much, all right, so it's just going to kind of give you the basics, all right, a little bit of whiteboard action here, all right, so the basic of, or the basis of the metric system is base 10, okay, you got 10 fingers, 10 toes, so it makes counting really, really easy, and all you have to do is move a decimal around, okay, so we're going to start off with the meter, in the metric system, everything is based off of the meter, okay? Not centimeter, not kilometer, not millimeter, any of that stuff. It is the meter, okay? Now, what the hell is a meter? Let me show you. On my handy-dandy tape measure here, all right, you can see I've got the metric on the bottom and the American way of doing it up at the top. Now, where exactly is the meter? Hang on one sec. Okay, sorry about that. Now, if you look here, like I said, on the bottom you have the metric system, and on the top you have the standard American system, okay? Now, if you bring it all the way up, there's one foot, there's two foot, and there is three foot. My video, I can say what I want. Now, if you look right here, okay, see that 100? That is one meter, okay? Now, the equivalent of that for all of us in America is going to be about 39 and 3 eighths. If you can see that right there, hopefully this is clear enough so you can see that, okay? Now, what exactly does that mean? What the hell is one meter versus a centimeter, millimeter, kilometer, or kilometer? Let's do it right here. All right, check it out. All right, one meter is 100 centimeters or 1,000 millimeters, okay? It is also, actually when you get a thousand of them put together, you have one kilometer, which is roughly 0 0.62 miles, okay? So have you ever heard of someone running a 5K, that means five kilometers is 3.1 miles, okay? Or like a 10K is a 6.2 mile race or run, whatever you're doing, okay? That's where that comes from. Now, did a little example down here at the bottom, okay? So say that, you know, for example, you measure something and it's 37.5 centimeters. Let me show you what that looks like first off. 37.5, okay. So, now just looking at the bottom, ignoring the top, all right? Just looking at the bottom. I'm going to read this backwards into my camera here. All right, so we have, once again, 37 and a half. So we have, there's 30, there's 7 and a half, right there, okay, right where my, my little fingernail is, 37 and a half centimeters, okay? You look up at the top for the, the basic conversion on there, but that's 37.5 centimeters. Now, that is literally the exact same thing as 375 millimeters. Well, what the hell is a millimeter? A millimeter is all them little bastards right there. All these little hash marks right across the bottom. Okay? Those are millimeters. It is also the exact same thing as 0 0.375 meters. Okay? That's it. That's the metric system. It's all based on number 10. The only difference is where you put this little guy, your decimal point, okay? Right there, there's your decimal point. Right here is your decimal point. Yeah, it's not there, but it's understood to be there. And then you have one right here. Now, how do you know which one to use? Basically, it's kind of up to you, okay? 
Now, you can have a conversation with, say, another woodworker or another dude saying, hey, I need to cut something 375 millimeters, okay? So that poor guy is going to be doing this if he didn't know any better. Okay, well, I know that 300 or a millimeter is all these little bastards at the bottom because Chris told me, so I'm going to count up 375 of them. No! <laughs> Move the damn decimal over a little bit and count 37 and a half centimeters, okay? Now, again, this is one centimeter, okay? From, like, say, if you're looking at 10, right there, right here, this whole section, right here. That's it. One centimeter. Less than an inch. Okay, less than an inch. One centimeter. That's all that is, okay? Now, I know I'm going to get some comments, oh, just America would switch over to this and be a lot easier for everybody. Yeah, it might, but the problem is a lot of guys aren't familiar with that, okay? So, I mean, I was looking all over the shop to try to find an old uh, metric tape measure. I don't have one, okay? I got that one from work years ago that has, you know, both of them on there. So, yeah, a lot of us in America aren't real familiar with the metric system, so this kind of what I'm doing. Okay, so if you guys want to bitch and argue about it below, hey, that's cool. I don't care. It'll be entertaining for me. All right, as far as you know, which one is better, okay? I don't really care as long as your measurements are consistent and accurate, okay? So, again, hopefully that helps. All this jazz right here, the basis is one meter, okay? You put a thousand of them bastards together, you got one kilometer, one kilometer. One hundred of them is, or, uh, you know, 100 centimeters is going to be one meter, or 1,000 millimeters equal one meter. It's all the same thing, okay? Now, I might be a little biased, okay? But yes, counting with my fingers and toes all right, is a lot easier than having to take 12 foot, or uh, 12 inches is one foot, and then, you know, trying to, con you know, figure out what, what a yard is, and, you know, miles are all kind of weird, and then, like, cups and ounces it's just it's weird okay but that's what we use here so if you don't like it suck it up or learn it all right whatever all right so anyway that's it is what it is guys okay hopefully this video helps that one dude um i'll uh, i'll try to tag you in there if i can uh you know once, once i find your uh your name and stuff i forgot what it was but uh, i'll tag you and so hopefully you see this and hopefully kind of helps a little bit i remember something that you, you put in there that um, you know, based on the metric system, you're like one meter and change tall, and if that's right, you're a little over three feet tall. So I'm not sure if you're like a little dude or a kid or, or what, but I'm, I don't know. Um, but anyway, hopefully, guys, this helps a little bit. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, complaints, whines, bitches, moans, or groans, or if you want to fight about this down below, hey, cool, do your thing. Um, if you have any questions, um, you can find me on uh, Facebook. Just look up Project Woodworks. You'll see my, my happy, smiling face right there. Um, you can leave me questions, comments there, or you can, you know, tag me down below, and uh, I read every single comment that comes in. I might not respond to everything, but if you've got any questions, please let me know. Thanks guys for watching. Have a good one.